Yo. What's good, everybody? Rage Cage 20 here today. Back with Power Wolf. Best of the blessed. Today we're on Werewolves of Armenia, which is the sixth song on the Bible of the Beast album made in 2009. Uh, now, I gotta say, um, Okay, I'm going to have a full disclosure with you here t today. And this one here. Um, I have mixed feelings about this band. Now, uh, reading a comment on someone's reaction video, I don't fucking remember who, it might have been Alex. I don't, I, don't, I don't fully remember. But on someone kind of describing the concept of the band being these werewolves or something that become priests or whatnot and they can like hunt their victims in the wild or some some like that there's there's more details but like it was weeks and weeks and weeks ago so that's the best i can remember um and so you know werewolves posing as you know priests and stuff to easily draw in their victims or something like that that's a fucking cool concept. That's a really fucking cool concept. I like that shit. Especially in this awesome power house metal rocking fucking awesome vocal power vocals that we got in here. That's fucking cool. Reading the uh, lyrics here. Besides the addition of what I believe is German words that might be the german um not alphabet uh just numbers i don't know i don't know if it's one two three four i don't know if ein zwei drei wer is counting i do not know <laughs> or those are specific words no idea uh there's also latin in there as well um you know uh, but reading through these besides the addition of the german language at the beginning there um uh, uh, it, it's the same stuff <laughs> it is the same material again and again and again so far now i have no idea if that's just those are the ones that perform the best so they all got put on the best of album and there's songs in here that are not i'm like around the same realm but not exactly the same thing that we've been you know having and whatnot i do not know but what I'm saying is, it's an extremely cool concept, but that probably shouldn't be every single song <laughs> that they make, ever. Out of how many albums they had? At least more than five, right? Six, seven, so like a lot of albums, it probably shouldn't be every single song they make every single time. They should probably switch it up a little bit. I don't know if we're going to get a switch up in this album or not, don't know. I don't know. Uh, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> starting in the, the lyrics. I mean, we haven't listened to it yet. I shouldn't prejudge it, but the lyrics are starting to look pretty damn repetitive. Um, with that being said, as I said in the la as I said before, and as I've said in the last one, I mean, it sounds so good though. Like if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I mean, that's fair. I mean, it's the same thing with stitches. I love a good standard Stitches song, and I don't think he has ever switched up what he sings about once, at least not on the albums and stuff I've listened to, even when he's rapping on someone else's track, he talks about the same shit again and again, and you know what? I like it every time. So, well, I think they should switch it up a little bit, can't lie, I like it when they do it like this, so... <laughs> I, you know, probably still gonna love it no matter what. <laughs> so that's just, I just wanted to explain my complicated feelings with this group. I really like what I hear from them. I'm really excited to get into it. Uh, Werewolves of Armenia. Let me pop in here just to make sure I'm on the right Ooh, computer. Um, and I am gonna try to listen to the originals, not the, uh, any ones that had the 2020 or 2021, whatever it was, uh, remastered versions. I'm not really interested in those because I listened to the remastered version 
of uh, We Drink Your Blood, and it had the same kind of problems whenever like Jonathan Young tried to remaster his stuff. Um, I don't know if they're all like this, but at least for that song, it was just kind of echoey and louder and had a bunch of other stuff that was kind of covering up the vocals a little bit. And it's just like, why do people think that that sounds better? It just blows my fucking mind. So we're going to try to listen to the original as much as we possibly can. So that's the goal going forward here. All right. Long intro. My bad. Has some shit to say. Let's get into it. Werewolves of Armenia. Go! bad a little bit similar a little bit different in there i like different i like a little different there um yeah none of those uh, latin i believe lyrics at the beginning there were in here at all so i was expecting a fast kickoff of again what i really think is 
One, two, three, four. But I have no idea. <laughs> uh, but, uh, yeah. I was on, he was like so long with all this, these lyrics I just did not see. And it sounded fucking cool, though. It sounded real nice. Um, I, I, you know, this was an interesting one. It kind of felt like maybe s- some kind of, uh, uh, like chant song that you would get at like a European pub or something. You know what I mean? Like, like maybe you're watching the football game, you know, like soccer and football. You know, just want to make that one clear. Uh, <laughs> watching a football game in like a pub or whatnot, and like your team's winning or whatever. I don't watch soccer. <laughs> I want to know, but just when you see a portrayed on TV and shit like that, which uh, probably inaccurate, but I find, find, find that's all I got to go off of. And, you know, they all just, like, raise their glass and, like, start chanting, like, a song or whatnot. This feels like, this is by some of the, the, the interval patterns and stuff in here, sound, it's kind of like that. Like, like a chanting, kind of, like, all singing together in a pub kind of song. And I like that. I like that. Uh, I like that take on it, whether that was intentional or not. I like my take on it. <laughs> um, I, I like I liked that sound. It was, it was very interesting. Um... Yeah. Uh, I I I would I mean there's no real reason to say it, but uh, I would say um underwhelming ish compared to what I've heard bef- you know from them before, but definitely not um not by any means like not good or anything. So that's why it's not necessarily a what a reason to say it, but you know, it's me, I'm gonna say it anyways. <laughs> That's how I roll. Um, but yeah, no, the other ones are just so unbelievably catchy. This one was uh, not as much, but uh, you know, it's still good, still has some really good parts in it, still has some really good parts in it. So let's, uh, you know, not much else to say. Let's go back and explore some of that. Oh, I don't say, I didn't, I didn't say play now. Whoa, computer, you know, chill. God damn. Um, what do I got here? Uh, yeah. So the first thing I have is kind of when the song starts, but I want to check out all this craziness that was going on here in the beginning. It was some, it was some very interesting stuff going on here. So I'm gonna get a taste of that again. Fuck you. Yeah, you better take it off. Watch later, you motherfucker. Sounds very like Phantom of the Opera, you know, obviously because you got the the, the organ going, uh, and it's very open and round sounding, so it's very like borderline operatic. Um, but yeah, you're getting a little bit of a Phantom of the Opera taste from there. It's just very open, very round sounding vowels and just open, just um, not necessarily belting, but a lot of uh, a lot of air, a lot of sound, a lot of energy being given, and it it's just it's clean, it's a clean opener. <laughs> I like that song. No, like just really, really shaping this, this essentially a vocal solo here, a vocal intro solo. Uh, just yeah, no, very musical, very, very great tone in the vocals. Just good stuff here. It's very interesting. I like it. I like those two chord hits in there on those last two notes of that. And it, it, it kind of really has a strong emphasis on the words and the notes. 
Um, yeah, that was 40 second intro there. None of the words on the fucking <laughs> on the uh, on the lyric website at all, but that's all right. Uh, I mean, not that I would understand them without translation, anyways. But I'm just saying they're not there, so I couldn't follow along with it. But uh, yeah, it's one hell of an opener there. That's that's crazy. The first thing I really have here, uh, as I said, 300 chant <laughs> with the who haws. Uh, again, kind of giving that, like, you sing this and chanting it with a bunch of people and whatnot, and they're just, you know, chiming in every now and then. Uh, but, uh, yeah, just this good, solid, ooh, good sound there. I really like it. Uh, we'll just, like, continue out here. That's so epic. I like this. Uh, I, I like the drum rhythm. It's very nice. It's a uh, it's pushing, good drive to it. Uh, the riff is pretty sick as well. I feel like I feel like it's missing a sound, and I don't know why. I'm thinking. I'm my, my, my first thought here is maybe a little bit more bass to kind of round out the overall sound. It feels like it's missing. A little bit of sound in there from you know, like the parts missing or something. It's, it feels a little empty, but um, but um, besides that, I, I'm liking this riff. I'm liking the rhythm, everything about it. It's got this good drive and energy to it. It's good stuff. I feel something missing on top. Oh, Yeah, I don't know. Something about it is like it feels a little simple, and that not in a bad way. Uh, I think simple in the situation is good, uh, but the, because of its somewhat simplistic nature and the way it's just kind of delivered, just like like the intervals don't, the notes and the intervals don't really move a whole lot. It's just it's kind of staying around the same zone. That mixed with. Uh, the, the who's and the ha's at the end really just makes it sound like a uh, like a uh, singing chanting pub song it's fascinating i like it it's very interesting but yeah something about that nature is just it's really drawing that imagery out for me I like those last songs. Da da da. That's catchy. There. I like that. I like that. Um. Yes, I did. Oh yeah, cause uh, the next thing I got in here. And what is that? Okay, it's at the end there. Um. So I want to look at the chorus a little bit in general. Um. But uh, I, I like the the, the notes. The, the, and the, the effect or whatever they did to push into the chorus I thought it was really cool, really catchy and that's going to come up here in a few seconds so let's back up like two and let that wind out here just doctor <laughs> that's that's cool, I like that I like that, let's, let, let's get that again and let it go into the chorus actually I'm going to reset the video then we'll do that Let's get that. So, uh, Cantus Lupus. Uh, Cantus, I believe, uh, has something to do with singing, like, can or dancing because uh, uh latin root other languages i think switch it to cantar which is is either to sing or to dance i mean look at this here and uh lupus i would imagine like uh like l l uh lumos kind of light 
uh, Loon, which would be the moon. I'm assuming it's either dancing or singing to or under the moon. I think is what is being said there. No idea what Agnus Totus is, <laughs> but I just caught that. I was like, hold on. Uh, sing. Yeah, okay, sing. That's all. <laughs> Bailar is dance, right. Uh, so Cantus would, if it's following, I don't know Latin very well, but if it's, uh, uh, if it's following, uh, not verbiage, but um, I don't know what it's called. Uh, if it's following Spanish and or style, I still don't know what the word's called. If it's following off of, uh, the way it would be in Spanish, tus would be like we, right? So we sing, I assume, to the moon or something like that. Uh, something like that. <laughs> I think I think is what that's saying. Anyways, not important. Uh, yeah, it's the uh, God. There's there's a chant or something like that. Uh, it, it's coming to my head, and why why this started to really feel like a kind of a ch chant song. Uh, but just da 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 da. It just it just has that kind of like chanting. A group of people singing in like a sports game or a pub or something like that it just has that kind of yeah you know it as as really cool i really i really like that effect i feel like it's intentional i feel like i'm onto something there um yeah that's really fucking cool let's, let's hear that again so good I like the little growl he has. He, he usually has at the end of his uh, some of his phrases, or some at the end of uh, either like a verse or a chorus or whatnot, or a part of a phrase. Uh, so we are the arm of the wild with a little bit of that grit, that bite onto it, a little bit of a pause, and then back into the uh, back into the uh, verse. There, really like that. I think that's really cool. Uh, so. Around two-ish minutes in, we'll just skip a little bit into this verse. Uh, something about the way he said trust. Um, and I don't know where the East is referring to. I don't know if the East means Europe, because usually that's like the West. Because uh, I'm pretty sure aren't they a German band? I don't know how it's involved with it. So I don't know if it means East or Eastern Europe or like really like the east like asia russia uh, middle east like <laughs> i don't like that far east like like i'm not sure but i think the way he said trust kind of like sound like maybe a way what it would be pronounced in an eastern dialect i think that's what i remember hearing something like that or at least that's what it made me think of so i think that was really cool let's listen for that Trust. Yeah, that that, 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 that kind of gives me that kind of like a kind of more like a, a your not your well kind of European but like but kind of like a, a Russian. We don't trust it, you know. what I mean, kind of like a, yeah, kind of that, like that that tongue roll kind of yeah yeah yeah. I feel like that's intentional, the way that that was kind of rolled, followed by from the east. I think that's. Yeah, that's cool. I like that. Give me that one more time. Give me that one more time. I like that. That's uh, that's catchy. That's a catchy way to go into the uh, into the course there. Uh, two thirty-five. Demonic. That's what that says. I was like slowly putting letters together, and I was like, got it. Um, the, I think it's the, uh, uh, Omnis Draco Maledicte et Omnis Legio, Legio, Diabolica. Ah, 
uh, demonic and diabolica that actually goes with <laughs> hand in hand there uh all right yeah cool <laughs> yeah that part uh it was just like at least the start of it sound it sounded very like demonic and like possessed the way it was just kind of like very gritty and just kind of growled out i thought that was a really cool effect there <laughs> I went through it fast. Let me get that again, because I didn't catch most of those words. Maldicte. I was close. I was close. <laughs> omni. It sounds like omni instead of omnis. I'm just used to is being very pronounced is or something like that. Uh, but it sounds like omni. Interesting. And then after that here around two fifty eight ish around three minutes in here, so we're just gonna let it keep rolling out. Uh, I said the the neutral syllable work that was going on there. Uh, I thought that was really cool, and the guitar solo. So we're gonna check that out. Let it finish. Hear that cute ending again, and uh, call it a night. I like this guitar one. Simple yet catchy. So that, there, I think that was the notes of put the push. There's either notes of one of the rhythms or something, or no, the the uh, one of the riffs of either maybe the instruments or part of the chorus or verse or something like that. Uh, or the it's the, the the push into the chorus, but like extended, but it's taken from previously in the song and kind of expanded on. It just it's very it's very uh, it's very well done. It's very op beautiful, open, round sound. Lots of energy, lots of volume being pushed out. Just very smooth, all legato and connected. Just moving up and down the intervals. Just sounds good. It's beautiful. It's catchy. I like it. <laughs> And you have the even though the note uh, note duration is not the same, um, and it's not legato. The guitars are, are the guitar is imitating a little bit. You know, and the, the strumming there that's kind of cool. It's following the 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 interval pattern. There. <laughs> It sounds like there's a little bit of tapping going on here, just kind of a little, you know, a little bit of this action going on. Because, uh, yeah, it doesn't sound like sweet picking. It sounds like it's close to sweet picking. But, yeah, I think that's just kind of like kind of like this, you know, just a little bit of that action. I call it tapping. I don't know what the actual term is for it. But, yeah, it sounds like that. It's really cool. Uh, I like the, uh, the distorted effect and uh, sound from it as well. Pretty sure that's tapped. Yeah, that's, that's really cool. I wanted to find out what is being said here. Translate from Latin, you know it. Oh! Excuse me, the whole lamb. <laughs> Agnus totus, totus, total. Okay, I get that. Uh, Agnus is lamb? <laughs> the whole lamb? Excuse me, give me that sentence here. <laughs> 
uh, Cantus uh, song, Lupus, Wolf Song. Oh, like, yeah, okay, Lupin is Wolf, got it. Like, Moon, Wolf, yeah, okay, okay. Wolf Song, All the Wolf's Song. Is that what that's supposed to be? I don't know. <laughs> That's just what popped up in Google Translate. <laughs> Cantus, Lupus, Agnus, Totus, all the wolf song. Not sure what the exact uh, translation is of that. Let me get that outro again. I was distracted by myself. <laughs> Again, making it sound very chanty and uh, group chant kind of sound to it. I like that. Good song. I liked it. Um, I mean, admit, admittedly, you might be able to tell in my words, the tone of my voice, my face. It didn't like wows me by any means. Uh, I thought you know it was a good song. I don't I don't know if I if I would come back to it to listen to it um, at least anytime soon. But, like, it was good. Nothing wrong with it. I, I like the take on it. I like le- what they did with it. Um, chorus was good. I like the instrumentation. Singing, of course, from this lead singer is always spot on. Uh, and just always good shit. So, like, you know, it was just absolutely nothing wrong with it. It just didn't, like, whoo, wow me like the other ones did. So, you know. It, it though it, like it would have been awesome. It's just the other ones were just so fucking good. It's just like it just didn't live up to what you've done before. That's all I'm saying. You know, you gotta come harder than that, pal. <laughs> but no, it was good. I liked it. Uh, what we got next? Yeah, I got it up somewhere. Zboop. All right. Next we have. <laughs> yeah, no, that makes sense. Uh, like that's just a title that you clearly just. Uh, understand what that means saturday satan like <laughs> you know what that means like come on everyone knows saturday Satan. <laughs> that's next i'm extremely intrigued by that title and i would love to find out more so yo come join me for some satan on saturday that sounds exciting and i will see you all next time